Ah, how's it going, Raggle viewers? Grim Gaddy right back into another Legends of the West video, and today we are doing Sam, I'm gonna mispronounce this, I know I am, despite the fact I've seen the movie, Sam Chisel, played by Denzel Washington, requested by the Emerald Void, in online. Ah, I'm not gonna lie, I don't do quite enough of these, but I'm kind of happy I don't for the simple fact that, uh, oof, I'm 50 gold bars, almost 51, and only 40 bucks to my name kind of makes this a little bit more of a pain than it probably should be. That all said, let's go ahead and break down this rather fine outfit bit by bit, shall we? Again, I, I do outfits. I'm not going to do the whole character creation thing because I'm not good at those. I'm bad with faces. I mean, my man is my man is hideous, for the Lord's sake. Uh, let's start off with the hat, shall we? I had options. I had a lot of options. I don't know why there's a bullet hole in the center of my brow again. That seems to be a common thing every time I go online. I'm always getting shot in the head. But some options, depending on how you see it, how you look at it, it eh, could work, could not work. The Drifter hat, for example, I like, but that gray band really throws me off. Another fine example, I think I have it, pretty sure I have it, I do not have it, I am wrong, dear sweet lord I'm wrong, okay, well screw it, we'll just go down to my default where I just throw on the stalker hat and call it a day. <laughs> the stalker hat actually does fit absurdly well for the look and the outfit, again, ignore the bull hole in the center, I swear to god, actually, yeah, I can dead on <laughs> recreate Manko's outfit now with that bullet hole in it, god damn. Ah, uh, moving on. Bandanas and neckwear. Now this gets a little weird. He is wearing something around his neck. I can't quite tell what it is from screenshots, clips, and all that, and going back and watching the movie again. Can't really catch a decent scene with it. But there's something there. And it's just like a light gray. Now sadly, uh, best I got to even try to replicate that just because it does come in a grayish color. As a flat black, it's a narrow neckerchief here. Nothing else really suits the look, because he's wearing it under his shirt, not like in his collar or anything. I have no idea what it is. I just know it's there. It's strange. No coats, no ponchos. Thank you, Rockstar, for ponchos. Now give us to it. Just give us, give us single player ponchos, please. For a vest, the Paisley vest in black. A lot of Denzel Washington's wardrobe in this is very fine looking, and also just very black, and I cannot imagine why. Shirts, just simple, everyday black shirt, simple as that. French dress shirt probably could work too, but it looks a little bit eh, too fine. Like a lot of his outfit looks good, but not that good. It doesn't look like absurdly, wickedly high-end fashion expensive, it just looks like I get paid a lot of money to hunt down people. Suspenders, doesn't matter, we're not going to see them. No gloves. Buckles, completely dearest choice. All weapon equipment, I would suggest something that's just finer and in black just to match the rest of the motif. For pants, really about the only thing I had and could find that really just looked the part, the tuxedo pants. I know I just said it doesn't look like high-end fashion, but... The tuxedo pants really sell the rest of this look really well. No chaps for boots. The Comstock boots in black. It was actually kind of a pain finding the right picture where I could actually see what the toe of these things really look like, and thankfully I did find one. And they're a pointed toe. And no spurs. Double checked and triple checked. There are no spurs to this outfit. If you had spurs, it's from your own volition. Ah. Battle said, that's about it. I like it. I like it a lot, probably because it's one of my two favorite colors. And it's all literally just that favorite color. <laughs> I'm a fan of black. My god, the sunlight on my skin does not look pretty. Especially on that scar across the eye. Dear sweet lord. But anyway, as usual, I hope you all enjoyed. And if y'all did enjoy, a great way of showing your support is by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and by all means, sharing around with your friends. And of course, checking down below in the description for the guidelines on how to make your own request for Legends of the West. Also, massive thank you for getting us past 3,000. I, I promised y'all a third Legends of the West video every week if you did that and you did it, and now I have to do it on Wednesday. 
Crap! <laughs> you are awesome, though, for it. You really are. Uh, there, sweet lord. Now, that said, I do have something already kind of pre-planned for Wednesday. I do not think we're going to hit 3K quite this soon. Or that fast. The video was already uploaded and scheduled long before we hit 3K. I honestly thought we were slowing down again, so I felt safe in doing it. So, I hope you all are ready to enjoy kind of a nice prelude of what Legends of the West is going to be replaced with on Wednesday. <laughs> Legends of Redacted. Uh, for those curious what the hell that is, that's basically where I do the same thing, but in Ghost Recon Wildlands. Minus the... well, actually, I don't know. If it becomes its own series, it becomes its own series. And if it does, we'll basically be doing the exact same thing here, where y'all throw a request at me, y'all vote on it, and I attempt to recreate it. Ignoring the fact that there are many YouTubers out there who are already on the ball with this and have been doing it since the game first came out, I'm really late to the game. Yeah. That all said, once again, thank you all for watching. Till next time, kids. Take care now. Bye bye then.